Mango does not miss. Part two of my haul is here. But first, get into this 24 inch bust down that I got yesterday. It was time for a new hairstyle and I haven't had a sew in in over two years. Your girl is feeling herself. Zoe, mommy, mommy's recording so I need you to use your quiet voice, okay? No. Let's try our, let's try our best, okay? If you're new here, I'm Steph. Every week on my channel, I share fashion, beauty, and lifestyle content. So be sure to hit that subscribe button so that you never miss a video. Last week, I shared my mango haul with you guys, and I was still waiting on a few pieces, and they finally arrived. So I'm gonna share those with you today. So let's get into it. Side note, all three of my children are home today. My toddler's downstairs. So if you hear something in the background, we're, we're doing our best over here. Now that you are subscribed, grab a glass. You already know mine is around the house somewhere, so I'll find it here in a little bit. I have three looks for you today, two looks that you could wear to the office, church, something a little bit more elevated. And the last look is a really fabulous brunch situation that I know you're gonna love. This first look can take you a range of places. I love it for the office, I love it for church, and I love it for a really classy day out with the girls. So the sweater is this like very textured cardigan and it has snap buttons which I love for easy on and off. And I have it just as a top but one of the reasons I was drawn to this is because I could wear it as a top or I can wear it with something underneath it and leave it open. And I styled it with another piece that just arrived and it's the satin maxi skirt that I've been like dying to come in. I love it and I can't wait to wear this a million different ways, but here it is the first way I styled it. I pulled a trench coat out of my closet and this one actually, I already owned it, but I looked at the tag and it's also from Mango. I'm telling you, they rarely ever miss. I love shopping here for those closet staple pieces that you're gonna get a ton of wear out of. For the shoe, I just did a heel that I already had close by, but a couple of other options. I'm loving the white ballerina shoe trend that I'm seeing everywhere. I love this with maybe a white or neutral color sling back heel. Let me know what you think about this look. When I bought the sweater, I don't know that I was thinking immediately that I would wear it with this skirt, but it actually worked out perfectly. The possibilities are endless here. For the next look, I kept on the satin skirt because I love it. And I paired it with this kind of sheer button down top that has a tie around the waist. Obviously, if you're wearing this in a professional setting, you're gonna wear a cami underneath it. However, if you wanna spice things up a bit, let the girls hang. I love this look for the office, and one of the reasons why this mango haul is one of my favorites is because every piece is interchangeable and can be worn with jeans, shorts, the skirts, trousers, all of the above, and create a ton of different outfits and looks. So this top is one that I could definitely see myself wearing with a pair of white shorts, with a trouser, um, but I do love it with this skirt. So again, let me know what you think. Moving on to the final look and the final pieces from my mango haul. I am pulling the jacket that I shared in my first haul because I loved it with this outfit. The top is actually a blouse that I styled it at first with a pair of trousers and I felt like I needed more of a flat front. The, the pants that I got in my haul were a bit more of a pleated front and so it just kind of felt bulky. So I just switched it up completely and threw on a pair of white trouser shorts, which if you don't have a pair of these in your wardrobe, I would say black, white, and maybe a another like neutral color get you some. They're very classy and it's a way of like elevating your look but also keeping cool, which as a Texas girly is very important, especially as we move into the summer months. And we now have a fabulous brunch outfit. It's giving bad and bougie and we love that. This top looks good with the satin skirt. It looks good with a flat front trouser. Just keep in mind like when you have kind of a cross front and then you have a bow, you wanna keep things nice and flat in the front, otherwise you start looking kind of bulky and bunchy. 
this is one of those blouses or something like this that you want to have in your rotation so that you can be the office baddie that we know you are. Obviously not dressed for the office right now, but I could certainly mix this up and I have it in my wardrobe and she's taking me all the places I need to go. I do a lot of shopping on Mango and probably the best tip I can give you if you are like just discovering it or you see pieces that you love but they're not on the budget right now, wait for the 30% off. I'm telling you, it happens probably, if not every month, every other month. And that is the best time to buy. That's when I stock up. I do a little haul for my daughter. I do a little haul for myself. And that 30% off is a nice little discount. It takes off a good little chunk so that that uh, card swipe or that add to cart doesn't quite sting so much. All right, guys, that is part two of my mango haul. If you missed part one, be sure to head there next because that's where the bulk of the pieces are. But I did want to be sure to show you the new stuff that I got in. We're keeping it short and sweet today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will be back with another video next week. Thank you for... 1400 subscribers we're moving right along and i'm so grateful for every single one of you be sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and i will talk to you again very soon bye